Hi, this is Gimfi, and we're going to do another another photo editing tutorial. Um, this is the original image here. Uh, <coughs> there's not much detail on it, and the lighting's not right, but we can still make an interesting picture out of it. We can make a silhouette with a different background. Just close this down. Now I'm just going to desaturate it first of all. Go to colors, desaturate. Click on average and OK. Now I'm going to also uh, try and sharpen the image up a little bit by going filters, enhance, sharpen, and sharpen. Click OK. can see the difference here if we zoom in and uh, take off the sharpen layer you see it's more blurred here with it on it's much sharper so I'm just going to merge those layers together by right mouse clicking going merge visible layers and merge okay I'm going to just uh, Go to filters, levels, and I'm just going to go click on auto and OK. That will set the um, the contrast and brightness. So now we want to make the silhouette. So we go to filters, no, sorry, colors, thresholds, and just adjust these sliders until you get a nice sort of black white contrast. this one has to introduce some noise so I'm just going to keep that pretty much the same and click OK now I'm going to add a transparent layer to it by going to layers transparency uh, in this case I don't need to it's already added so I'm going to color select the white we're going to the color select tool click on the white press delete Shift Control A to clear the selection, then go to the new layer button, click it, and we'll I have a white background. So I'm going to go to the blend tool and select the gradient. I'm going to use uh, German flag smooth and just drag from the bottom to the top looks pretty good and just use this arrow to bring the, the layer below the, the silhouette layer and that looks pretty good as it is um, the one thing I might do more is just add a new layer Trans uh, transparency I'm going to um, take away the foreground to make sure that my new transparent layer is, is the active layer go to the blend tool, change the shape to radial and the colour Wanted to be foreground to transparent. Now we're just going to see how that is. Okay, that's not what I want. I want to uh, invert it. I'm going to Control Z to undo. And I don't know I've inverted it, so I'm going to try again. Okay, it's close to what I want, but it's too much, so I'm going to. Control Z and increase the offset to about 47. Try again. Still a little bit too much. Control Z to undo. Okay, that's better. 
I might just turn the opacity down a bit. And try again. Okay. That's close enough for the moment. So I'll go back to the layers. Add them all in. And uh, so we have a much more interesting image from the original one. So I'm just going to go right mouse click, merge visible layers. And we're done. This is Kim Fiend. Thank you for watching.